Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your July 2021 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's jump into it, Virgo. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Virgo with a clear, concise message from you all right so virgo we've got a spread here let's see what is going on with you we've got the will of fortune the temperance card and the two of cups clarifying the reading is the magician so it looks like for some of you virgos you know that you've seen the full manifestation of a situation and it could be that it ended or it's ending some of you are at a place of an inability to cope with uh, change here something has changed okay um, whatever change between you and your person it kind of left things open-ended it's up in the air so you're trying to manifest uh, what it is you really want in this union um, you are the magician too so you're trying to manifest what it is you really want but it says this is the fullness of the manifestation the ten of swords it doesn't get any worse it doesn't get any better in order to to have something, you have to start anew. Some of you need a makeover. Some of you need to put more attention, time, energy, effort into you. Okay? You need to pour more energy into you. That's just coming out here with the Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Sun card. So this says makeover, energy, effort, time into you. Because right now... You're putting too much into trying to salvage this connection, trying to make it work. Whatever changed here, whatever transpired, you being ignored, you being dejected or rejected or abandoned, you're just really trying to make it work and stay on someone's good side or really just hope for the best here, um, hope for change because you feel like this is your soulmate. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius Pisces you feel like you guys just get it together get along together very well um, that there's friendship there's platonic plus contractual so why not get married it works is, is what some of you are saying and you're willing to see it through you're willing to um, try to keep the balance here and try to keep your composure too um and whatever this person wants you to be you're going to try to be that it says that you might be manifesting from a place of fear fear that maybe you'll find no one else you see your per you see your vision well you see your future with this person or you might not even be able to envision your future right now because something is blocked within you and it could be your third eye chakra. So now you're grasping at straws and you're trying to manifest from a place of fear. With this magician card, you're trying to use your words wisely. You're trying to do the right things, say the right things. Um, you're trying to play your cards right so that you can be the chosen one because we do see a decision here. With the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, somebody's keeping the decision up in the air. You're not closing in on a connection just yet. There also could be some interference, some heavy interference here. Maybe even from someone's past or somebody who has children with them or someone who was a childhood sweetheart or something of that nature. There is definitely a third party here. And you need to ask questions. You need to get some clarity. Um, you need to be curious about what's going on. Um, again, the third eye chakra is coming up. It says you are so confused because you won't listen to your intuition. Um, you're just trying to manifest. You're just trying to use all that you have to bring this together or keep it together, hold it together. But again, um, fear is here. With the nine of swords, you fear that this is over, or some person that you're dealing with, this is what how they feel. They fear it is over. 
somebody wants to go in a new direction. They want to have a new development here. This is what they're trying to manifest here. Kind of doing things backwards with the magician and then the, the fool card. When the, the fool card should be first and someone should be willing to take the risk, the leap of faith with you. And you shouldn't have to manifest a risk or a leap of faith with this person. Somebody stuck tied down to somebody because of money and or material possessions. Somebody could be materialistic. Someone could want to stay in their marriage because of materials and money. Somebody keeps the other person confused because of, of a money situation here too. Be cautious of staying in anything too long because you could suffer a defeat. This is going to be hard to come out of. Again, you feel like this is your perfect person, perfect union. So you got to make sure that the other person feels that way too. Do ask the necessary questions with the Page of Sword. Do your homework. Be curious. This is your life and no one else's. Some of you have been burying your head in the sand because you haven't wanted you don't want to deal with this change. And the change could be that somebody blindsided you, disappointed you, ended things, and now there's an inability to cope with the fact that this has happened. Only time will tell what will happen in this connection, but it looks like you're hanging in there, you're hanging on. And you're trying to make it work. And you might be trying to make it work for children also. You see the bigger picture. I think you want to rise to the occasion. But you have to be met with that. Virgo, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. Where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.